Good morning, a formal welcome to those uh, on Zoom. Um, lovely to see you with us this morning and anybody who may be watching in on Facebook Live, good morning to you and to those who may be watching a bit later on via YouTube. And YouTube. Good morning just gonna to you be too. Too. <laughs> Hope you are all well. Uh, we're going to mute people on Zoom, um, uh, but we'll unmute when it comes to the prayers and the uh, the intercessions. So for a moment, as we just begin our act of worship, should we just give a moment of silence and then we'll say some liturgy together. Wherever we meet, from. We meet in the name of God, God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit, God is one. So we pray together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Close the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we gather, we say sorry to God for those things we have knowingly done wrong. So we say together, most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We confess that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbour as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy, and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ <coughs> our Lord. Amen. And so Sally is going to read our Bible reading for us this morning. Jesus said, oh, I'm a bit. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and then in his joy went and sold all he had and bought that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and forces. This is the gospel of Christ. Thanks be to God. Um, there is, as has become our custom, a very short talk on YouTube in relation to that passage, asking the question about how seriously do we take Jesus's talk on the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God. Clearly for Jesus, it's a very precious thing. And I think we're challenged to think through how precious we see our conversation, our understanding of the kingdom of heaven to be. So you may like to just watch that very short reflection there on the YouTube channel. So let us proclaim together what we believe. We believe in one God the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is, seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, 
was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the yeah. resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. So we're going to have some prayers now, and uh, Mikey is going to lead us in our prayers, Mikey. Almighty God, our Heaven Fatherly, you promise though your Son, Jesus Christ, to hear us when you we pray in faith. Thank you for the Kingdom of Heaven and our place in it. Thank you for the, that knowing who brings joy is beautiful. Thank you that you present is with us now. Help us to know more about you, Kingdom, every day. We ask that you give wisdom to our polit politicians as they make decisions that will be effective both for health and economy of our country. We pray for our local councillors and officers that they too will hold the wisdom needed to allow our town to rise as much as possible at this time. We pray for those who have lost jobs with find the meaningful employment they need. We pray for all who are unwell. We pray that the pandemic will quickly draw to a close. We give thanks for the scientists against COVID and we ask the scientists to continue to successful and um, final thanks and meditation we ask these prayers in the name of jesus amen, amen. thank you mikey and so let us share with one another we gather from afar but it's christ's peace which joins us together this morning so let me introduce time of sharing the peace by um just saying a little bit of liturgy and then we'll um, open up the microphone and allow one another to, to say hi and uh, to share Christ's peace and to see one another. We may be apart, but we are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. So let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace right. with one another. Yeah. Hold on. Peace, peace with you. Hold on. Peace with you guys. Peace with you. Yeah. Peace with you. And a peace to those on YouTube and uh, very much those looking on, on Facebook. Peace be with you this morning. So we come to our time of communion. I have bread and wine here. You may have as well. Um, simply know that as we meet with one another, we meet with the Lord Jesus as well. So the Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love, you made us for yourself. When we turned away, you did not reject us, 
that came to meet us in your son. You embraced us as your children and welcomed us to sit and eat with you. In Christ, you shared, our, you shared our life, that we might live in him and he in us. He opened his arms of love upon the cross and made for all the perfect sacrifice for sin. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His body is the bread of life. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, we do this in remembrance of him. His blood is shed for all. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this wine may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son, as we eat and drink these holy gifts, make us one in Christ, our risen Lord. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal soul of heaven, saying together, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. So let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. However you are able, draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts, by faith, with thanksgiving. the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. let us again pray together. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights, give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope 
you have set before us. So we and all your children shall be free and the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So closing prayer blessing. The peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and your minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Well, that brings our service formally to a close. So we do need to say farewell to those who may be watching on YouTube, those who are watching, have been watching via Facebook Live. It's been wonderful to have you with us in this way, wherever you are. Um, and we look forward to seeing you again in this way on Sunday at 10.30 or next Wednesday at 10. So goodbye. Uh, for the moment to those especially uh, leaving us on Facebook. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.